For those who don't know what Red Cup CBB is, could you tell us a little bit about your page and what you do? Right. So basically, it's a page about covering college basketball. I do interviews, highlights, try to update the scores a lot, and really just combine every part of college basketball, which I love so much, into one place. And a lot of players are on there that interact with the post, and they all talk back to the fans as well. So it's just kind of a place where everybody can talk about college basketball, and especially during the regular season as well. Gotcha. So tell me a little bit about your background. This is the first time we're meeting. So um, just tell me a little bit about yourself and how you first got involved with Red Cup. Right. So I started a page when I was like 15, just kind of a hobby, something to do. I really liked college basketball, but nobody around me really followed the regular season. That was like my age or anything. Mm -hmm. And they really just cared about the tournament. So I started it just kind of a way to meet other people that really liked it and just to kind of cover it as a hobby and show my love for the sport. And then it kind of started growing a little bit. I started figuring out the whole social media thing. And over the summer last year, two years ago now, but I started getting in contact with some players. They started following and we just kind of kept building it up until I was about last February, actually um, red cup, the official page reached out to me and wanted to bring me on as their guy to cover college basketball and I've been with them for about a year now as part of their network and it's just been really great and that's basically how it started though just me being a fan and now working up now I write for a couple places as well so just being more of a insider and analyst and something that I want to pursue in the future as well. Cool, cool. Really cool stuff. So Red Cup News Network is like the bigger thing and you are right. and you run their page within that. Right. And they a lot of the pages they already have, but this time it was weird. They reached out to me and they were like, You can turn keep your page full ownership and everything. Just be our college basketball guy. So I kind of slipped right in with them and I really like what they're doing and I think they have a bright future ahead and I wanted to be a part of that. Gotcha. Yeah. No, I know I, um, I'm a big college basketball my, guy myself and I found the page throughout Instagram and you guys are at like 21, 22,000 followers. You guys yeah. have really taken off and you mentioned, so you're followed by a lot of players, over a thousand college basketball players following your page. How cool is it for you to have an outreach like that and to be communicating with, you know, these division one high major players and things like that it must be really cool for you. Right. It's, it's been really cool. And at first, like I didn't even think of that as a possibility that players would really find my page or anything like that. That wasn't what I was trying to do, but shout out to, I don't know if you know who Javon Graves is, but he was at Buffalo. No way. He was leading scorer. I actually, he was the first guy really, I go to Buffalo and I, we actually had Javon on the podcast like a few weeks ago. Two weeks ago, wow. we had Javon on. Yeah. I'm a student at uh, university of Buffalo. I'm originally okay. from New Jersey, but yeah, I go there. Wow. Okay. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, he was the first guy to follow my page, and he reached out. They were playing last last season at um, – it was whatever preseason tournament it was, Battle for Atlantis or something. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you should make a post to highlight the Battle for Atlantis and feature Buffalo. He's like, I think we're going to really have a great season. And that ended up being the season that Buffalo was – it was right after Buffalo had been ranked all year and all that. And so he was the first guy to reach out and – got the whole Buffalo team following me, which of course that kind of sparked the whole chain reaction. So, and all the, everybody else started falling after that, but it, yeah, it was Javon Graves that first followed me and helped get all these other players following me down the road. That's but, so cool. Yeah. Javon's the man. I, um, I'm in my second is. year at Buffalo and, uh, pretty good program they got going there i saw like you you um you also like follow like ronaldo segu who's got like a crazy yeah. uh, instagram following he's got like over 150k and things like that so yeah no it's really cool what you're doing and you're getting to um interact with all these people really cool thing for your page to subscribe click here to check out our behind the scenes series behind the bench click here to check out clips click here to check out backlogged episodes click here peace guys see you thursday